My name is David Rodwin, and this is The Life. So, I just finished three interviews up here in San Francisco, and they were all really great, but very different. The first person I interviewed with asked me these huge general questions that had nothing to do with the job I was actually going to be taking on. However, I think he just wanted to see how my brain functioned in terms of critical thinking. The second person actually asked me questions that were extremely specific to the job, to the point where I didn't have all of the information that I needed to make an effective answer, but I improvised some good things regardless. And the third person, she uh, asked me what kind of uh, great strengths I had to bring to the table. And I said one thing that comes very naturally is I'm a connector. You know, sometimes before a person's even finished a sentence about what they're up to, I'll say, oh, there's someone that you absolutely have to meet. And she said, oh, super, well, um, maybe you can help me. I'm heading down to Los Angeles, and I'm going to be giving a talk about beauty. I need to meet people in the beauty industry. Who can you put me in touch with? And I thought, are you serious? You know, I know people in film, television, theater, music, the food industry. I, I know so many different realms where I can pull awesome people from. Beauty is not one of my specialties. But then I thought about it, and I remembered, oh, my best friend from high school, his wife, founded one of the top esthetician shops in the entire town, Queen Bee. It, uh, they're like number one rated by City Search and LA Weekly as a place to go if you want to get waxed. So I pulled out her name really quickly and I said, oh yeah, beauty, here's this person. <laughs> and I was amazed that I had anyone at my fingertips. And for that, I have to thank my best friend from high school for marrying the right woman. My name's David Rodwin, and this is The Life.